Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Stranded Deep. All right, so we uh we're we're at about 4:23 on day. Well, it used to tell you the days. Guess not anymore. I think we survived two days. So uh, I, I've cooked. Uh, I, I killed the uh, the. I skinned that giant crab, and we're cooking that up. I've got one piece already cooked. <coughs> But we're not hungry enough to eat it yet. Well, just about. You know what? So let's go ahead and pop that one. Now you gain cooking skill, which is that second one, by standing close to the fire while it's cooking. Makes sense? So we're just waiting for that to finish up here before sunrise. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, I've pulled the, the life raft farther up on shore. We have uh, cleaned out our, uh, oh, thought I cleaned out our storage. I would forgot the bandage. Very important. Need that. If you ever get attacked by a shark, you want bandages. All right, so that's going on. We don't want to go too far from here or we won't get the benefit of the cooking. You have to be in proximity of the fire. So may I, I don't know what that means. Maybe somewhere in the glow area. But, you know, the closer the better, I would suspect just to make sure you're getting the benefit of it. Uh, let's see. So construction, you can see we're up to four. Harvesting a three or something like that. Uh, building. No, it's a three for building. Four for harvesting or what have you. All right. That should be cooked. Yes, it is. And we will extinguish that. Uh, if you have meat in your hand when you point at the fire, all it will do is, um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to reload that. We'll take one with us. We'll run over this way. Um, it'll it'll uh, reattach it to the fire to cook, right? So, does it do you any good? All right. Um, I got another stick. Did I have any? Okay, let's see. We can pick that up. And that, and we will put those, because we want to take those with us. Tell you what, that's not going to help me, but the bandage will. All right, so let's run over here. We'll drop off the fibrous leaf. We'll do that right here next to that. And I think... I want my I want a set of spears with me. All right, we'll put the food in there and the knife. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, what's in that one? That's got the lanterns. Crap. All right, let's see. All right, I want the lantern. The peepee's important. The meat's important. the knife that the hammer you know what let's pull out the compass real quick all right so from here we want to go southwest again so yeah we want to go to that island so do i want probably that one okay we're going to have to carry that. All right, we'll come back. We'll come back. All right, so let's drag. Our raft out into the water. All right, there's the anchor. Awesome. All right, so the way you operate this is you sit down at the you hit E. And then we're going to lift the anchor, drop the sail. Now this will turn pretty rapidly. Now as you get your raft bigger and bigger, it turns slower and slower, as you could imagine. All right, so we're going to make our way over there. Now, hold on. So there is... I'm going to drop that there 
All right. I just want to see what's down here. What a giant grouper. All right. Um, and then you've got, yeah, so we've got several... Several in there. All right, so we, uh, damn. All right, well, I'm not going to have a choice. I always raise the sail when I'm stopped, but drop the anchor first, and it'll stop you on a dime, and then lower the sail. Uh, you can get up on the raft and walk around. Um, I don't recommend it because... You could fall off, and the raft, once you have the sail on it, it'll keep going, and you lose it. So, <laughs> just, a, just a warning, and yeah, that's a, that's a real-life tip. I've actually had that happen in the game. Not this uh, series, but early, early on when I was playing. All right, so we want to go back there. So, I want to make a note to check, check the small wreck. So there are two crates on there we want to get. Now, I've already got the spears on me, which is good. So I'm thinking this is the island we might make our home base at. We'll see. I really want to see if there's enough space on it. Also, if there's enough natural resources, like, you know, does it have two or three? At least two, but, you know, preferably three of the fibrous leaf trees. All right, we've now survived three days. So one of the things you can see, the raft canopy, that would be right here. It would be over us and it would be protecting us from the sun. There's a lot of wrecks on that island, it looks like. Interesting. So we want to come up, uh, let's see. I'm thinking we want to come up maybe more on the rock side of the island. So let's angle over to the right a little bit. There, there's no, no right or wrong. You just, you know, I like a little bit of beach, you know, to figure out where I'm at. Oh, actually, right here would be perfect. There's a point right there that comes out. You know, you'd like to be away from the crabs, of course. Oh, there is a crab there. So let's swing it around this way. All right, raise the sail, up we go. So there's two crabs, there's a boar, a giant boar. And we've got the spears. Now I should have three more spears, four more spears in here somewhere. Because didn't we make, oh, we only made, all right, let's make, Two more. All right, he's coming. Now, if you can get behind them, they will. All right. All right, there we go. Now that boar is the bigger danger because they, they really do a lot of damage. And I don't see him there. Uh, where'd he go? Now that may be a small one. That's a small one. Okay, that's not the wild boar, the the man, the man killer. All right. All right, here he comes. All right. And you can see we've taken one one bar on our health. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be snakes on this island. So I like to get up on these. We can look around. I'm looking. Oh, there's a container over there. There's nothing ever in those, but you can break them apart to use them. Again, I'm not really worried about loot right now. 
I want to just kind of clear out the island. And I'm being quiet because I'm trying to listen for the snake. I'm also looking for a boar. So the snake is exactly what it looks like. You think it's a it's a long black, but it, you know with all this grass, right there. You see it? All right. So I hit him. He'll swing around back this way. All right. We got him. I want to get those back off of him. We'll bring him out on the beach. And I'll leave him here as kind of a warning that this is where he's at. Um, and I just lost. I lost three spears. How did I do that? Don't throw the spears at the crabs because they will break on the shell. There he is right there. He appears to be stuck. Awesome. He appears to have gotten stuck. Nice. All right, um, I tell you what, let's put him up in here and now let's go ahead and start gathering. I do want to go back. The small boar I'm not worried about. You can get leather from them too, but it's I'm, I'm sure I'm 90% positive and I, I got to turn the volume up on my headset. I'm 90% positive there's going to be another snake out here, right? Come on, pick it up. Let's run this up. Now, I haven't cleared all this, so again, that snake could be right in here somewhere. So what I'm thinking is, this is a nice area here. All right, we're going to pop that down there. And let's drop uh, sticks right there and rocks right there. All right. Now, if this is the, and I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be the island we're going to set up on. There's a large area out here to build on if we want to. But I like to build up in the interior at the beginning. Uh, just, you know, it's easier to kind of, do stuff here all right we're gonna do that uh, we got some wood there and let's put I find that the scrap if you drop it out of out of here by hitting the right right uh, mouse button it stacks better all right that is normal they do do that uh, let's see another wood stick we'll get that out of there all right, so I want my knife and my axe. And we're going to take those out. So we're going to put one kind of right there. One kind of right there. And the other one kind of right there. And that'll give us some illumination come nightfall. Right. Come nightfall. All right. Now. All right. I want that. And I want that. <laughs> Hot key city. All right. We will work our way around. Now, these things do take damage as you're going around. Oh, you know what? Tell you what. I want, I just saw one, there was, there it is. Let's grab, uh, let's look in our inventory here. That, 
all right and that'll be number three so as the it's going to get dark with this storm hopefully it's not hopefully we don't have regular storms in here but we might again it's very important until you make sure you have the island cleared i always assume i've never seen two boars i've only ever seen one but you could see that one was actually hiding and he was all the way up in the interior the snakes I've never seen up in the interior, but they do come up, you know, to like the tree line here. But I always assume there's two and we've only killed one, right? The small boars, again, not an issue. All right, we've got, all right, here's one. Looks like a pippy plant right there. We'll get it later. There's some rocks. We'll get them later. All right, two, three. So there's three here. And, uh, nope, that was a boar. I'm just looking, you know, I'm, I'm still leery about that snake. <laughs> All right, so again, it's kind of nice. Okay, there's two pippies right there. So again, those pippies will grow back. I'm just looking for, all right, we'll grab the cloth, another cloth, nice. All right, no, no container in that wreck. And unfortunately, you haven't seen one in the small boat yet, but that's, uh, I swear, they are in there on occasion. All right, there's an Azuga, I'm going to wait on that. We'll get rocks later. I really want to get all of my all of my fibrous leaves from the saplings and whatnot. There's one. Look, we have it. And another thing to do is like you see how that stick is right there. That's an indicator we have not been out here yet, and so that's an area that there could be. A snake. Now there's the snake that we killed already, which is why I left it out here. Oh, there's one of my spears. Cool. All right. Oh, look at this. What is that? Oh, just another little end cut. Cool. All right, we're going to drop that real quick. All right, we've got uh, some more wood. I've got uh, some fibrous leaves. Where do we want to put these? Maybe like right here. And I just moved to spread them out a little bit. All right, so you can see that we spread them out there. Uh, let's pick that up. Rekey that. So, you know, that way you can see they kind of fan out. Uh, let's see. We do have some cloth. There we go. And some more rocks. I don't usually keep the rocks inside the... Uh, where did I put the rocks at? There they are. Awesome. All right, let's bring uh, let's bring these in a little bit. Just uh, you know, so that helps. There you go. So now you know. Now we've got kind of a lit area. All right, we are very very thirsty. Uh, so let's prioritize a water still. All right three rocks, a piece of cloth. In fact, well, yeah, you know what? I'm going to make two of these. Uh, we need one, two, three, four lashings, two coconuts. 
All right, let's make, uh, so I need one of those. We'll drink it. And I need another one of those. We'll drink it. And then I need my ax. And we just picked these. So let's chop this one down. I need the palm fronds. So we got five of those. Now, where do we want to build these? I'm thinking we'll build these out here. Let's build one there. Let's build one there. All right. All right, that's full. All right, let's go ahead and chop down this one. We do have a stick there, but I'm looking for this. All right, we can drag this up back towards the light. You know, not that we need it, but, you know, just, you know, it's always nice. That way we know it's near the camp. All right, palm frond. All right. All right, we will do that. So both of those are now fully loaded and generating. All right, now, where is my compass? Not that I need it from here, because this is my main base, but right there. All right, now, if we want to build our shelter, four palm fronds. I don't have four left. I've got two left. Darn. How about this one? All right, we'll pick that up. We'll work our way back up to the base here. Chop it out. All right, three sticks and a, ah, uh, there we are, a lashing. Now, we want the compass and we want to point due east, right? All right, so due east, right there. All right, and you can have the compass open while you do this. Now, I use the point to point in the directions. I've seen some people use the open end. I use the point just like an arrow. So that points due east, which is to the other islands and out into the rest of the world. There is nothing west of us except for nothing. Uh, you'll actually reach a line of buoy balls that you can't get past. All right, let's see, we got that. All right, now this cooked crab meat. Now it is only cooked. It will go bad at some point, it will become spoiled. So we wanna build a smoker. And I think that wants to be our first priority. So I'm gonna build a stack of kindling and a fire. We're gonna build the fire, I'm gonna say right between the water here, okay? And we're going to drop, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and light the fire. All right, we're going to drop that. Let's grab the last three rocks. Now we can build the fire pit. And then I can build the smoker. So I need three more sticks, another lashing, and a piece of cloth. Right there, all right. So we come back over here, we highlight that. Now we can build the smoker. And we're going to rotate it until we can actually see the opening on all three sides. So you can see the two sides when they're facing you, you can't see. On the open side, you can see everything. We want that facing us. 
And what that does is that gives us the ability to now smoke five pieces of meat. I am going to extinguish the fire now. And you hear the water starting to fill up. So let's go ahead and drink that. Three of those almost fills it up. Now we do need... I've got three more palm fronds. And again, at some point we will start using fibrous leaves, but I want the ability to do the, uh, you know, do any building that we need right now and use those for lashings. I'm going to clear down a couple of these saplings in here. These don't give any shade, so and they don't grow into big trees. So we'll just clear them out. And then they don't get in our way. We can actually, you know, use them for construction. And less places that uh, little baddie snakes can hide. <laughs> All right, we got that. There's one right here. And we will need wood for building. We will need wood for feeding the fire. You know, all kind of stuff. So we're going to come over here. All right, so that gives us a good supply of wood. And, uh, you know, I think that's a good place to call it quits. So we've got, uh, we've got a little alcove here. I wonder, I wonder if I could, damn, you know what? I wonder if, if I get more, if I could build that up and get up on top of those rocks. I've never tried that. A lot of times you can get on top of rocks, but here I don't think so because there's no natural way. Um, but I think that's enough for today, guys. We've gotten the fibrous leaves, so those will start regrowing. Looks like there might be one out there. A couple more sticks. Again, this tells me this is an area... I have not been, but there is the snake right there. So we did kill a snake in this area. Typically they're spread out. So it's hard to, hard to tell sometimes. But, you know, just walk around slow. They will announce their presence with the hissing or whatever. Uh, you know, they, they act like a rattlesnake, so, but they're not. They're called night snakes. All right, we did have a couple of rocks over here, which rocks are uh, another finite resource. You need a lot of them. These will be things that we'll end up bringing in from other islands. Uh, you know, just they'll come in handy. And I would like to find those two other peepees. Oh, there they are. And a rock, and the pee pee, and the rock, and the coconuts. Oh, well, I don't need the coconut as bad. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to carry this up into our island here. All right, and we're going to drop him over here by the boar then I want to go out and grab the other one there he is so I had actually tried to do a scientific experiment uh, to see if if you did not skin these if that would in fact um, keep it from coming back as uh, you know from respawning and they do not they'll they'll come back so uh, let's see do, do, do. okay we have some pippy over here somewhere there's three all right and I guess we'll start a new one there all right we've got that there some more of that some more rocks all right, let's get our knife just real quick, and we will come over and skin the giant crab. Now, this will give us two pieces of meat, and then it'll disappear. You'll have to trust me because you can't see it. Well, there it goes. See? All right. 
I want to go ahead and get all four pieces of meat. All right, and it's gone. So we'll come back over to our smoker, pick up our kindling. We'll restart the fire. All right, physical went up again. All right, we'll put that in our hands and then we'll attach. Now you can fit five pieces to smoke and then one piece to cook if you want to. Um, I'm not desperate for food. I like to smoke everything. When you smoke it, it does not go bad. It will stay good forever. Turns into beef jerky, basically. It's still medium meat. It will still fill up two bars of hunger. Uh, but it will not go bad. And then smoked meat does just like regular meat, stacks four high. All right, that you see that's full. We can actually put four more in there right now just to let it, you know, it will not waste it, but it'll already be primed. And that's got to be a priority. So, and then this one is also out. So let's put four in there. And hopefully we're close enough to the fire, we're still getting the cooking bonus. Uh, let's take a quick look. We are a little thirsty, so let's go ahead and drink two of those. Uh, so we're pretty much topped off. Uh, you can also see our skills. Hunting is up to three. Cooking's up to two. Physical's up to three. Construction's at three. Harvesting's into the fifth bar. And then we are healthy. Uh, so... That's where we're at. Now, the, the oh, there went the cooking. So our cooking just went up another level. Awesome. I don't know what that does. I don't know if it gives you more benefit from the meat. I don't know if it fills up more bars. I don't, I have no idea. Don't know what the benefit to that is. Um, I don't think you have to have certain skills. I can put any type of meat on here. And then if your question, we've, we've gotten the small crabs off the beach. That's a small meat. Any of the regular fish that we get from the water, the shallow areas, uh, that will also give you small meat. Uh, the cod give you medium meat, just like these larger crabs do. And then the boar gives you leather and large meat, I think large meat. And then sharks and the grouper also, I believe, give you large meat. The grouper is not aggressive, but what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to upgrade our spears at some point from a regular spear into a refined spear. Basically, you saw it took two spears to kill the snake. It'll only take one. Uh, it'll only take uh, like three or four hits with a refined spear to kill the boar instead of six to eight. Uh, it also takes less to kill sharks, but you can see it takes leather and that's something we're gonna have to start farming uh, the boar will help with that. I also need to get some leather for our refined pick. So to that end, we're going to end up making a tanning rack to make leather. Uh, but, you know, we need to we need four lashings for that. So a lot of that's going to have to wait two or four days down the road as the trees repopulate and we're able to get more stuff here. But we're off to a good start. Uh, just to rem So, yeah, it does have... So it does have to cook. Now it's cooked. Now we have to leave it on here and it will become smoked cooked medium crab meat. But anyway, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you guys next time here in Stranded Deep. Let me know what you guys think about the save so far. Uh, any suggestions, any ideas, your thoughts on the game. Very good survival game, still in early access. Uh, and they did just have a, a fix come out uh, to fix a few things and also to add a couple of new items. Uh, so anyway, we'll check those out on our raft as we get uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, tomorrow we'll need to go diving on the wrecks around here. But I'm going to sit here and let the meat keep uh, cooking through the night. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys uh, bright and early tomorrow in game whenever this next episode comes out. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.